gosh, guys. Sorry, I'm in my car now. Um, I got everything that I need. But I just wanted to say that Ebeno. And if you guys don't know what that means, that means good morning. The sun's not up yet, and I hope it doesn't get up until I get there. Because I brought my little chair that I want to sit in and just freaking watch the sunrise. Um, so yeah, it is 6.32. No one is awake. I'm going to get this drive 30 minutes. Hopefully at the most we should be there. All right guys, we're kind of We're kind of kind of almost there. We're like five miles away from like the trailhead um, And right now we are currently in big Conwood Canyon. So in Salt Lake City. There's like these um, I feel like there's these two canyons where most of the hikes are. Yeah, that's all I know <laughs> The leaves are freaking changing colors where I'm from in Arizona I live next to San Francisco peaks and when the leaves change colors, like there's this like, in Navajo they call it, well in Navajo they say that they, like the mountain's getting a sash belt. Just cause like, um, the leaves change color in a certain region of the mountain. So it looks like um, the mountain's wearing a sash belt. Which is freaking amazing. I, I honestly love that time of year when all the colors change and when the mountain gets its sash belt. It's so beautiful. Um, yeah, I'm excited. I've done this hike before, but um, we weren't really paying attention. <laughs> I went with one of my friends and we weren't really paying attention. Um, so we actually miss the whole freaking fall. <laughs> like, how does one miss a fall? I have no idea, but we missed it. Like honestly by a little bit. It's an easy hike. It's like five miles. So it's like two and a half out and then two and a half back. So it's not that bad. And it's actually like a hella trail. So it's not like intense or anything. In my ratings, it's like a, like out of easiness. It's like five out of 10 easy. Um, actually not even, probably like four out of 10 easy. Like there is this one part though where you have to like crawl up on these rocks and like go up the river if that makes sense actually you'll see it will make sense but that's probably the hardest part i honestly had no problem with it at all it's so funny because like after me and my friend hiked this he messaged me and was like bro we barely missed it like we walked right past it and i was like what but it was when, to be fair it was when we were climbing up and i was like focusing on what i'm doing and like that's how we missed it. <laughs> Dude, it's a new day. We're gonna freaking get this, cause yeah. Ain't no way we missing it again. Oh dang, they put in like a little stoplight. That's cool. So this is the little parking lot. Last time I came, it was just like people parking, kind of trying to be organized as they can, but they weren't as organized. Um, and then they put this cool little light because there's actually parking on that side too. It gets so packed, like on tomorrow, probably like Saturday, it'll be freaking busy and there's gonna be so many people here. Um, but this is smart that they did this. They put lines in it, they put like a little crosswalk, they put a little stop sign, and then the trail starts that away. So, like I said, I brought my little chair because like there's this one spot like right over here where you can just sit and it like you can you get like a whole shot of like the canyon kind of. But yeah, there's like a little river right here too, so you can actually like go fishing and stuff. I don't really fish. I don't know why. I just I just don't. But my friend who I came with last time, he was like, yeah, sometimes I go fishing up here, and I was like, oh dang, that's cool. All right, also guys, <laughs> I don't really recommend, you know, hiking by yourself, but I really want to do this hike, and this trail is actually, there's a lot of people that hike it. I don't really recommend hiking by yourself just because it's kind of sketchy and anything could happen. I just saw two ladies, so I'm probably going to head up now just so I can, you know, be around them. I also have my pocket knife, so, you know, if you are going by yourself, make sure you, like, have some kind of protection and make sure you message people. I need to text my sister. And you know, center my location. Alrighty, so yeah, this is the parking lot. It's usually hella packed. Oh, there's those two people. All right, so for some weird reason, I feel like this trail's different. <laughs> it's not, but it is. I guess everything's different when you're alone. Nay. <laughs> no, there's like two people in front of me, so it's whatever. But I was actually like in the need of like, I don't know, 
some I need to get back on track mentally you know I just haven't been feeling myself lately like I don't know so I was in need in dire need of this hike so I'm actually really glad that I'm out here right now dude look there's this cute little bridge right here and there's that river I was telling you about so fun fact this river is actually Salt Lake City's like drinking source and I'm pretty sure it gets filtered out and like whatever so yeah but fun fact that it comes out from Big Conwood Canyon wild huh that's why they there's signs that say like no swimming no dumping because people out here drinking it <laughs> but the sun's coming up it's looking a lot nicer guys let me show you the views right now so it's nice you can kind of see over there that the sun's coming up well the sun is out it probably won't come into this little canyon until like eight or nine um yeah donut falls is literally like right over there now dude it's chilly out here like damn i have a long sleeve on in this jacket thing so i should be fine let's try to warm up in a second here well not in a second but in a bit <sighs> At least I hope so. <laughs> and right there it is. The little river thing. This is where you have to start climbing. So you climb down right here. And then you go up, keep going up the little river. Looks like there's not that much water, so hopefully you guys can, we're able to see the falls. And we just keep going up. See right there, that's where you have to climb up. But I guess the fall is actually like right there. And then me and my friend actually kept going. So that, as you can see, it was kind of easy to miss it. But good thing there's people out here. <laughs> Gosh, guys, I climbed up this little part. If you're ever gonna do this hike, be very careful. It's slippery, watery, and these rocks are slippery. Like, look at that. I don't know what kind of mineral that is, but it's slippery. <sighs> Dude, we hella just missed it. So here it is, Donut Falls, and it goes in comes out right there me and my friend literally walked right here and went up that way <laughs> oh my gosh dude this is cool I'm gonna get a picture guys we made it down and we didn't have to get our feet wet so boom that's a plus that was good it was freaking beautiful cool little hike so two more people actually showed up that's pretty cool these rocks are slippery like even more so when they're dry because they get like a they get like a film of dust on it which makes it super slippery but yeah guys, I'm good. Everything's good. I'm so glad I went on this hike early in the morning. I would have still been sleeping. Mission accomplished. Oh my gosh, it looks so crazy. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Donut Falls. Um, 10 out of 10 would recommend. It's a good hike. Really um, pretty easy. Unless, <sighs> unless you're scared of heights, then that might be a little bit, might be a little bit tough for you. 
just because the water the rocks if you're not so like confident you can fall and I'm pretty sure it would hurt um, but out of all those people that were up there there was like six of us seven including me none of us fell and four of them were older people yeah um, so I, I, I feel like if you guys are young and able you're from the res you can do it low-key I feel like res kids are incredible they're like invincible <laughs> aka me I'm incredible I'm invincible if you're from the res if you're a native kid you're incredible you're invincible don't let no one tell you otherwise so this is coming out of the, the little river dude look how pretty it is found the freaking fall I can't believe like how close my friend and I were <laughs> like it's unbelievably dumb that we missed it <laughs> let's just enjoy this guys So there's more people showing up finally early bird gets the worm that's always the motto my guy always all right guys I'm back in my car I'm in this little parking lot cuz I'm gonna walk down to that little spot um and I brought my little hiking chair it's like just folds up really fast I'll show you guys the process um and then I brought my snack oh my gosh where's it at? I bought dried mangoes and chocolate covered almonds and then I brought an apple but I'm probably gonna eat the apple on my drive home so I'm gonna save that and then I also brought a treat a drink it's um passion orange <laughs> it's the off brand of Hawaiian Sun <laughs> like I said I was like in a little funk for like a hot second um actually all last week i was kind of in a funk and i was trying to pull myself out of it and it's okay guys like i just want you guys to know that i do get into these funks where i'm not feeling as happy or as motivated or as inspired and what i do personally to bring myself out of that is i do things that i enjoy i started running this past week i've been feeling a lot better i've been eating like hella healthier and i feel like already 10 times better um and i went on a hike today this is what i love doing i love being outdoors and whether i'm by myself or with i'm with somebody i love it like i love being out here and that's all i really got to say um, so yeah guys if you guys are like in that place, you know in that funk I honestly just recommend like going out and doing what you enjoy doing Got a chair see how simple that was this is like a chair from Walmart so now we're just gonna freaking chill right here bruh and enjoy the views look at that look at that I 
I hope you guys have a great day. I hope you guys enjoyed this little vlog. So I inspire you guys this week to do something that makes you happy. Regardless if you're by yourself or with you bring someone, bringing someone is always the best idea. But you know, sometimes, just sometimes, there are times when it should be by yourself because you enjoy it more and you get to think and you get to do whatever on your own time. Um, so I'll see you guys later. Thank you very much. Peace out. Make sure you guys hit me up on Instagram and Snapchat. They'll be linked down below. But I'll see you guys later. Peace out.